Hello, I'm Eliza Kov, a medical intuitive and a wealth activator. And this is episode three of Inside Healing, where you will get insight and healing into something that's going on within you, something that you can use. Because healing is an inside job, but then also we're going to delve into and go deep into different aspects of healing. Things that will make your journey a little easier, a little bit more uh, comprehensible, easier to understand. And ultimately, this whole show that comes out every Friday at 12 p.m. Eastern time is to let is to allow you to live life with a little bit more grace, ease, and filled with love. Because when we get all that other stuff out of the way, what's left is love. And when we have love, we have joy. When we have joy, we open up to bliss. And <laughs> ultimately, that is our deepest intention to be living in our greatest fruition as human beings in this physical body in this lifetime. Today's theme is a little deeper. Today, we're going to talk about forgiveness and um, both self-forgiveness and also forgiving others. Now, in the healing world, there's a big push to forgive, forgive, to heal. We have to be super, super careful when we do this, because ultimately, we want to keep our nervous system in check. When our nervous system is really in fight or flight and sympathetic, when we forgive, when we force things, we're not healing. In fact, sometimes we can backtrack. We can feel more unsafe within our being and in our world. And when we don't feel our when we do not feel safe, when our nervous system is out of balance, more in sympathetic, the fight or flight, as opposed to parasympathetic, then we're not really moving towards that healing. We're not moving towards joy or love that I mentioned at the beginning of this session. So how do we approach this then forgiveness? If Ella's saying, you don't have to forgive, you first work on healing and unpacking and shedding and then forgiveness comes from that. <laughs> what, are, what are you saying? <laughs> um, when you start to shed the shame, the anger, the grief, the resentment, it's easier. We feel lighter. When we feel lighter, it's a um, greater flow to forgiveness. Now, shame is also held from holding on to our own um, inability to forgive ourselves from our, for our past mistakes. I'm gonna hold that off, the past mistakes for another episode. So I'm not gonna go too much into that, but clearing the shame and the low vibration emotions will also help you to forgive yourself. And ultimately when we feel lighter within ourselves, we also see others a bit more or a lot more compassionately and in their own suffering and their own pain, whether with, with their actions, their words, what they did. So you can forgive. Forgiveness is actually healing for you. It keeps takes you out of your cell. You know, we think that I'm not going to forgive that person because I'm not going to take them out of their um, pain. But actually, you're keeping yourself in pain. So I'm going to run three sacred activations. Forgiveness, self-forgiveness. No, let's start with self-forgiveness, forgiveness. But I'm also going to do a nervous system upgrade. Um, this one is good to do maybe once a month. I wouldn't do this one every day. It's a hard one to let go of this stuff. Why ego? <laughs> the ego, the ego keeps us in the illusion. And you know, anytime that we have to feel like we have to be right, uh, anytime. This is a whole other episode, but anytime you feel like to be right or perfectionism, it's any time, it's from childhood trauma where we didn't grow, where we stayed kind of, I guess it's kind of not childlike, but we weren't able to evolve and grow because of our traumas. So let's just focus today on self-forgiveness, forgiveness, and upgrading your nervous system. And that's it. There's no expectations here. I want you to just feel and be and be open to whatever capacity with no judgment. Healing needs to be slow and patient and 
allow, because if you do not feel safe as you move through different parts of the healing journey, it's going to be very, in fact, it can even up, upscale your anger, resentment. Um, so let's begin, shall we? All right. You can always ask me questions as well in comments. If anything that I wrote here did not make sense and make requests for what episode you would like. Take a few expansive breaths. Let every exhale bring you deeper into your being. And breathe all the way down to your belly. Like let the belly expand. And accept to receive. And I'm starting to run self-forgiveness, sacred activation first. Just be, be like a sponge in receiving this energy that is ultimately for your greater, higher, more expansive good. <laughs> The truth is that we've all made mistakes. No one is perfect. And holding on to um, holding on to that shame of your own mistakes is keeping you from growth, from evolving, and from finding the ease and calm that is so needed for you to grow and expand in this lifetime. While we're here, I want you to imagine that you are down, 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 down all the layers, through all the layers of Mother Earth until you get to the heart chakra of Mother Earth. And if you see that crystal chair or bench, sit or lay down and continue to receive the sacred activation from the envelopment and safety and being held by Mother Earth. And while that's running, I'm going to start to run forgiveness, sacred activation. Here we go. Accept to receive. You don't have to think about any person as I run this. Just allow the energy to work for you. And there's no expectations. There's just the state of being and being a, like a sponge to receive. And know that you are worthy of feeling the joy that comes from letting go and shedding all that does not serve. I'm going to stack on. Nervous system upgrade sacred activation just to help with the integration of these energies and ultimately helping you feel safe in your body, in your life, and yes, in the world as a whole.
Inhale, the white light up beyond the crown of the head. Exhale out your nose and you and the white light go down, down, down through all the layers of Mother Earth until you get to the heart chakra of Mother Earth. And if you see that crystal chair or the bench, go ahead and sit or lay down and be enveloped in grounding, supportive, warm energy as this energy continues to integrate and will actually continue to run for a few more hours. But just allow yourself to feel the grounding. Inhale, the white light up beyond the crown of the head. Exhale at your nose and you and the white light come down to your chest cavity, your heart center. And just take a few breaths, expanding the light in your chest cavity. Ultimately, it's about coming back to love, about coming back to your authenticity. True freedom, true freedom. And start to wiggle your fingers and your toes. And when you're ready, gently open up your eyes. This energy will continue to run for a few more hours. So please be mindful, drink water, go for a walk. Maybe if you're near a body of water, like the ocean or a lake or the sea, go, go and sit and look at it or walk along it, get into nature. If you have any comments or how this was for you or questions, please write it below. Share this with somebody that can use some healing right now these days. And this is such a powerful theme and it's an edgy theme and I get that. Um, come back to this anytime you need it. Dare I say even before like family get togethers or when you're gonna be with people that trigger you. Allow this energy to fill you and clear some of the stuff before you move into those situations. And I love feedback, but I also love suggestions and requests. In fact, I really love requests. Thank you so much for allowing me to be some part of your journey. It's an honor that I do not take lightly. As always, much love. Till next.